Welcome to Movie Shortened. Follow us today to a 2016 post-apocalyptic movie called Here Alone. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. Our story begins in a forest. We see a woman named Anne, not looking too good, standing at the back of a car with the trunk of food supplies. She has a flashback of an earlier time when she was with her husband, Jason, and their baby, Haley. Now she is foraging for edible plants. She tries to make a trap for small animals. After eating berries and grubs, she vomits. Anne has another flashback where her family is driving down the road listening to a warning on the radio about a viral outbreak that is affecting so many people. We see Anne going to the car and putting mud on the car to camouflage it. Now she relieves herself in a bucket that she's keeping for future use. She sleeps in the car for safety. She has a rifle that she takes with her everywhere she goes for protection. She also plays with Haley's talking toy that says basic phrases. The next morning, she's sitting on a log counting crackers and wondering how long her food will last. She goes to check on the trap that she set before, but it's empty. Flashback, and Jason is teaching Anne how to set traps, how to shoot, and basic survival skills. At night, they sit by the fire. The next morning, she has an idea. She sterilizes a knife in the fire, then cuts her arm to collect some blood. Then she stands on the edge of the lake and smears mud all over her body. Anne walks to the edge of the road and leaves the bucket of urine in the grass. She crosses the road and walks through to a high wire fence and ties the baby's talker to the fence and locks the button on saying, Hi there, how are you? She tips some blood on the toy and soon after she hears a growling sound not too far away. Now she runs down the fence to a hole in the wire. In the distance we can see a house. Once she's on the other side she hurries to the house and climbs inside. On the sofa there is a dead man and a woman. She looks through the cupboards and finds tin food which she quickly puts in her backpack. As she climbs out of the window, she knocks over the rubbish bin and soon after she hears the growling noise coming closer. She makes a run for the hole in the fence with some infected people chasing her. She cuts her stomach on the fence but manages to get away. She drops some of the food supplies on the ground. Anne runs back across the road and tips the bucket of urine over her head and body. Back at the lake, she washes the wound and stitches the cut with a needle and some cotton. She listens to a broadcast in French on a dynamo radio. Flashback and she is sitting by a fire when Jason appears. He has a cut to his forehead. They get in the car and quickly leave. He tells her he was trying to get some food, but when he cut himself, the infected sensed his blood and came after him. Jason told her that part of them was still human because they can still die. The next morning, she returns to collect the supplies she dropped the day before. When she is close to the road, she hears a voice. and sees a man and a girl on the road, but the man collapses. She approaches cautiously and asks if the man is infected. The girl, called Olivia, tells Anne, no. Anne tells Olivia to help her take the man named Chris back to her camp. They put Chris in a tent, then sit by the fire. Olivia tells Anne Chris is her stepfather. The next morning, Anne goes to her campsite near the lake while Olivia and Chris are still asleep. Olivia finds Anne and together they set the animal trap. Anne picks up some animal droppings and tells Olivia that it hides human scent. That evening, Anne and Olivia go for a walk to where they can hear the dynamo radio but the announcer is speaking in French. When they return to the campsite, they find Chris sitting by the fire. He's so happy to see Olivia. Chris and Anne talk by the fire. He tells Anne he appreciates her helping them because help is very rare these days. Chris and Olivia sleep in the tent. In the morning, it's raining and Anne wakes up in the car and sees Chris and Olivia getting wet. She tells them to get in the car. Anne tells them that her husband brought her out here. She goes to the trunk and gets a half box of cereal for them to eat. Olivia falls asleep and Chris tells Anne what happened to Olivia's mom named Suzanne. How she got infected then went crazy, so Chris had to kill her. The next morning, Anne and Olivia are sitting by the fire eating some cereal. Later, they try to catch some fish. Chris starts telling a story, but Anne tells him to stop. That night by the fire, Anne tells Chris about the infections before people knew what they were. They talk about how they deal with their memories. Flashback to Anne and Jason sitting near a fire and Anne says that Haley needs some meds to bring her fever down. Jason has to go for some supplies, so she rubs mud on him to cover his scent, then he walks off into the night. Early the next morning, Anne takes the rifle and goes for a walk while Chris and Olivia are still asleep. Later, Olivia cuts her fingers and Anne puts some band-aids on them. Anne gives Chris and Olivia some biscuits and she notices Chris is keeping some for later. Chris asks Anne to go with them, but she wants to stay. Flashback and Anne hears loud howling in the distance and gunfire, then Haley cries a little. The next day, Anne, Chris, and Olivia are near a stream. Chris makes a wager that he can hit a distant tree with a rock. If he hits it, Anne will use more food for dinner and Olivia will go swimming because she hates swimming in lakes. After two attempts, he hits it. 
Later, we see them swimming in the lake, and at dinner time, they eat more than usual. Olivia notices that Anne and Chris are getting friendlier towards each other. The next morning, Olivia and Chris are watching Anne wash some clothes. Chris says it would be good to have Anne come with them. Later, Anne and Olivia talk about the past. Anne recalls having just found Jason lying dead in the grass. It looks like he was attacked. She takes the rifle and the rations he brought back and the medications that he found for Haley. The next morning, she tries to camouflage the car, then puts Haley in the car and walks off to a house not far away. As she enters the house, she hears a noise of someone eating. She finds an infected girl at the fridge stuffing food into her mouth. Anne shoots her from behind, then takes what supplies she can carry. She hurries back to the car to find Haley crying. Then she notices a red mark on Haley's face. Back to the present and Anne and Chris are collecting firewood and talking pleasantly. At the fireside, Anne says goodnight to Chris and goes to sleep in the car. Shortly after, Anne hears a knock on the car door. When she opens it, Chris reaches in and she holds his arm. Not long after, Olivia leaves the tent and walks outside. She can hear Chris and Anne together in the car and she becomes jealous. The next morning, it looks like Olivia has been eating crackers. Now, we see Olivia walking away through the grass. When Anne gets out of the car, she finds the trunk open and some food missing. Through the trees, Olivia can see an infected woman growling, but then she turns and runs at Olivia. Olivia runs away from her, screaming. Chris and Anne run towards the screams. Anne takes her rifle but forgets to take the bullets. They find the woman sitting over Olivia and Chris drags her off. Anne tries to shoot the woman but realizes there's no bullets. Instead, she hits the woman with the butt of the rifle. Chris takes the rifle and beats the woman repeatedly. As they get cleaned up near the lake, Chris says he and Olivia are leaving in the morning. Flashback and Anne is talking to Haley, but then she sees more red marks on Haley's stomach. Haley is crying loudly and Anne keeps telling her she's sorry. Back to the present, Anne tells Chris she's not ready to move on, and if she dies, maybe she deserves to. Chris tries to talk some sense into her and tells her it's time to move on because her family is no longer here. We see Anne standing at Haley's gravesite. Chris and Olivia are preparing to leave when Anne returns to the campsite and tells them they are going to need more food. Eventually, she leaves with them. Anne is wiping mud on Olivia and herself to stop the infected from smelling their scents. At the fence, Anne and Olivia wait while Chris is further along the fence. He cuts himself and rubs his blood on his body. Shortly after, we hear loud growling noises and Anne tells Olivia it's time to move. As Anne and Olivia enter the house, we see a group of the infected running towards Chris. While Anne is collecting food, Olivia starts looking through the house. Anne calls out to Olivia, but something hits Anne in the head and she drops to the floor. When she opens her eyes, she sees Olivia standing near her, holding a gun. Olivia ties Anne's hands to a cupboard, then screams loudly to attract attention. We see Chris crossing the road and tipping the bucket over himself to wash off the blood. As the infected reach the road, he runs off into the bush. Now, Olivia's climbing out of the house window with the backpacks of food. As she climbs through the fence, she sees two of the infected running towards her. She reaches the road but doesn't wash off the mud. She runs into the bush. Now, we see Anne in the house. She is free from the rope, but some of the infected are coming back into the house. She quickly tips some liquid over herself and hides in the chest freezer, just as they're coming inside. After the growling noises subside, she slowly lifts the lid and peers out. It's all clear, so she climbs out and grabs a rifle. As she walks outside, an infected man comes at her and she shoots him. Olivia arrives back at the car and Chris is asking her where Anne is. Just then, a large group of the infected comes running down the hill towards them. He tells Olivia to get in the car, then turns to fight the infected. Anne arrives and shoots one of the infected, then aims and pauses. It looks like one of the infected is in the car with Olivia. Flashback and Anne is sitting by the fire with Haley, who is crying constantly. Anne knows what she has to do. She crushes all the medication in a tin and mixes it with water and some of her blood. She feeds it to Haley, knowing that her child will go to sleep, but will never wake up. Back to the present, we see dead bodies here and there. We see Anne driving the car along the road with Olivia sitting next to her. Again, we see the dead bodies, but Chris is also lying dead with them. The last thing we see is Anne screaming as she drives. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.